friends and supporters, uh, this is Arupo. I'm so excited to be invited in your house with this brand new video that has for title How to Avoid Mistakes in Brushing Your Teeth. Just before I start the video, I want to take a short, uh, I want to thank you for subscribing to the channel also to share the channel with all your friends and also to ask them to subscribe and to share it with all their friends as well and family members so that all those information can reach out to so many people as possible uh, because they are very educative, uh, educative so that people will know and correct the bad habit in their life. So, uh, just before I start the video, I want to take a short break. Uh, just uh, give me some time, stay connected, so that I'll be back. back to start the video and I want to thank you for still connected. As I mentioned, the title of this video is how to avoid mistakes in brushing your teeth. First, mistake people make in brushing their teeth is keeping the toothbrush in the bathroom. Yes, it is a big mistake to keep your toothbrush in the bathroom. And I know that most people, that's why they do, make it easier. And sometimes they have the uh, uh, toothbrush stand or holder. They just uh, put it there and not realize that everything going on in the bathroom go to the to the uh, to the mouth, to the teeth, to the gum that goes. Uh, a lot of bacteria in how in how teeth because when we flush when you use the bathroom we put all the air pop up and that go to rest on on, on those uh, toothbrush so the bath uh, the bathroom is the worst place to keep your toothbrush uh, because of the bacteria and germ that go in there that the worst place in the house when uh, in comparison to the other places when it comes to bacteria and germs. So keep your toothbrush somewhere else, whether in your bathroom, in the, uh, in the kitchen, um, somewhere else, any part in the house, but not in the bathroom. Uh, next mistake uh, people make uh, is toothbrush is too hard. Yes, uh, as you know, when we go uh, to the store to buy toothbrush, there are two different to uh, two different uh, toothbrush. There are a hard one, three hard one, medium one, and soft one. Most of the time, people so let me buy the hard one so that I can uh, uh, it can help me to rub the gum or the whatever stand in my teeth in your teeth but it is the bad one to use because the uh, uh, braid hold is not uh, are not flexible they just go on the surface but not go to the between but the best one to choose is the soft one when you choose the soft one when you're brushing you go to all between each teeth and the bristle go between and that keep your gum and your uh, teeth, your, teeth, your, 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 your teeth clean. So, uh, also they don't, they don't damage your gum. And by, uh, by damaging your gum, that can cause a cavity in your gum and in your teeth. So don't buy the hard one, get the soft one. The next mistake people uh, make is in brushing their teeth brushing too hard 
they, and they, they do that they do that like make all day strength <coughs> especially when they are uh on hurry they just do that do that do that do that i, I used to do that myself too just to say i got my teeth but it's one way we need to do it uh, smoothly and slowly and softly not they swim that in the, the the boy but just uh, do it um, like that that they wake it uh, that we can clean how uh, teeth without, without damaging her gone. Next mistake uh, people make in brushing their teeth the uh, is keeping the toothbrush too long. Yeah, the toothbrush not. Uh, be made to be uh, 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 last no more than three months. No more than three months. That means every season for the places where they are four season, every season we change a board. We need to change our toothbrush. Spring, uh, summer, fall, and winter, at least four toothbrush need to be, um, we need to replace our toothbrush every three months for and, uh, a total of four times during the year. Not, not two times, not three times, at least four times. So that we may have, whenever you see the brace will uh, turn and twist, that means it's not good. Even you, 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 body, uh, you, you, you use it for two, three weeks or, or one month, when it's a twist, that means you, you, you press it too hard and you need to replace it and to get a new, a new one. And next mistake people make in brushing their teeth, when they brush, they don't clean their tongue. With the need, you need to clean your tongue because the tongue is the place where the bacteria keep the bacteria and the germ in your mouth. So with that, um, by clean, uh, cleaning, uh, washing your tongue, take off all the bacteria also, you will uh, combat, eliminate the bad breath and prevent the bacteria in your mouth. And next mix, mistake people make, not washing enough, not give it washing enough time. They just wash and they, they do it too fast or to uh, not long enough. At least you can, in two minutes to brush your teeth, you have, we have four part, four card in your, in your, in, in your mouth. Each card, uh, card runs, you take 30 seconds at least to clean it, uh, plus the time to clean her tongue and all the part in her mouth. Okay. Uh, next uh, mistake people make in brushing their teeth, uh, brushing the uh, the same pattern is a mistake. Uh, brushing her teeth must be intentional. Today you can start with the upper right, or next time you can up uh, brushing on the uh, start on the lower left lower part or or on the different part. This is what you are going to uh, to do. You say to yourself. This was is a good way to uh, not to do it only routinely, but you're doing it intentionally. And next mistake people make in brushing their teeth, uh, they brush their teeth right after they eat. It is a mistake once you finish uh, your meal and to go to brush your teeth. I don't want, they said, they think that I don't want the, the, the food is still my tooth, let me clean it. No, you need to wait, and wait at least 30 to 60 minutes, meaning half hour to one hour after eating to wash your teeth. Why? Is the time your body processes the food to eliminate or to separate all the acid that was on the food not to go uh, in your system you can you can if you wash right after the meeting uh, one that your body uh, process the food all the 
acid to stay in your mouth and that's why uh, you need time uh, to before you eat to wash your teeth and also uh, after brushing your teeth you need at least uh, 30 a minute to before drink anything drink or eating anything you know the uh for the uh the fluoride you use to uh work in your in your in your mouth on your teeth okay and different uh next mistake people make in brushing their teeth uh brushing one area of the of their tooth they won't wash a wrong area. You can know uh, some people, you know, we don't you need to wash our teeth just on the on the gum line. On the gum line and do it not to do it too hard in order not to damage her gum, in order not to have uh, any cavities in her mouth. And also we need to um, wash our teeth on the an an angle of 45 degrees, not on the uh, 90 degrees drop like that but you have to do that 45 degrees you hold the brush when you uh brush your teeth and next ne next mistake people make in brushing their teeth uh brushing too too much or not enough yeah they brush that in too much during the day or don't brush it enough and uh, time during the day we need to brush our teeth at least uh twice a day we brush first in the morning and uh, the last one we brush it be just before at night before we go to bed if you brush it once a day it's not enough you need or uh, if you wash it twice a um uh, three times more than two times a day that's too much why because we damage our gum why we think we're doing the right thing it is a wrong thing to do we can eat we can wash in the morning and between the day when we eat we can flush but not washing to just to take the food out from our mouth all right next mistake people make in washing their teeth uh the using the wrong toothpaste we need to use the right toothpaste what i mean by uh using the wrong toothpaste all the toothpaste uh, are same but they're not same you, you must use a toothpaste in the range from zero to 70 abrasion to protect your your whole mouth uh, like arm and hammer is a good one and also you have different one you can use because the uh, arm and arm and hammer they make with uh, like almost like natural um, product like baking soda or that stuff and the abrasion on those things are less than between zero to 70 uh, abrasion so use look at the abrasion how much uh, how many abrasion they have when you buy your toothpaste that's what the doctor the uh, dentist recommend even them they uh, sometimes they do give you some kind of toothpaste but i don't i, I don't know if then uh if they uh that the, that the lower abrasion they have or with the promotion they do for for uh the toothpaste maker uh next mistake people make in brushing their teeth using too much toothpaste some people put uh, the toothpaste all on uh, all the long of, uh, of the toothbrush that too much when you first brush or you, your your mouth your mouth full with with, with forearm you cannot spare when you spare just the toothpaste come out i used to do that too you know to yourself but now i don't do that anymore i just put a little part, toothpaste on the brush i brush and when you put less he cleaning better just like when you use uh the washing the clothes on the washing machine if you put too much uh soap 
yeah, that the, 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 the four um, keep going in your mind, uh, in the mind of how clean the glue well enough. But you know, when you spit, you need to spit the water. While you are brushing, you want to spit with the water, not the forearm from your you know, little bit. So just use the little one, that is very little on the tooth, uh, on the tooth uh, paste, uh, on the toothbrush to wash your teeth. Okay, next mistake uh, people make uh, in brushing their teeth, they not flushing, uh, flossing. Okay, it is a big mistake for your oral hygiene to brush your teeth with a wood uh, uh, floss it because the brush you use can use certain part of your mouth of your teeth to clean but when you flush you flush the whole part be, be, because you go between uh, each teeth to flush to take, take away the uh, food particle in your uh, in your uh, between your teeth and that keep your uh, your 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 teeth clean so flush every time you brush your teeth or uh, even during the day after eating a uh, certain food if you feel like to to brush but you cannot brush no more than two times during the day so you can flush take away the food from your mouth that's very important that prevent cavities and uh, eliminate uh, bad breath in your mouth so do it uh, every night the first uh, next mistake people make in brushing their teeth using water to rinse out. Once you wash uh, your brush your teeth, you take water to I used to do that too, to rinse out your the uh, the toothpaste from your mouth. You take away all the uh, fluoride that was in the mouth that's supposed to protect your your teeth. So that's why they ask after brushing, you need to wait for the fluoride to work in your mouth and that uh, it strengthens your mouth and protect it. So you know, instead of using water, you can use uh, Listerine, you can use mouthwash, or you can make your homemade or your own natural uh, mouthwash, and that can keep your mouth fresh and protect uh, protecting. And next mistake people make in brushing their teeth, uh, teach, uh, they don't teach their kids the right way. They don't teach their kids the right way because they didn't know for themselves the right way to brush their teeth or how to avoid those mistakes we mentioned in this video. So that if you know the right way to do it, you will teach your kid exactly and when they uh, become older, they do the same and uh, they do, keep on doing it and become a, uh, they, uh, they learn exactly how to brush their teeth and with that, they will not have any teeth problem because they do it uh, since the beginning of the right way. Uh, yes, it's good to know it and you teach them how to do it as well. Uh, next thing I can ask you, what was your mistake in brushing your teeth according to all that those who mentioned above? If you, which one do you identify that you need to make a correction in your next brushing? If so, um, I encourage you, if you find this video is very, very interesting, and share with with people. They need to know. Because even myself, I didn't know until I discovered that. And I want to share that with you. You also can learn and make, uh, correct those mistakes. And as a bonus, uh, true foods. Take the practice to chew food on both sides of your uh, of your mouth in order to to strengthen the muscles of your mouth and instead chew it on one side but chew it on both sides so that uh, if you do on one side you do that 
this one move and that one doesn't move but you know only on the both side and they all you move the muscles and that keep your muscles flexible and keep you moving and be able to chew and book, book down your food but so that all i have on this video for you i hope that you find this video is very and uh, important for people to know about it and so that share it with, with them so that they, they can make all the correction you will find me on facebook on instagram and on twitter by subscribing you can receive all the videos that i that is on the channel past and future so that you can be always connected and be informed of what's going on around you thank you for your time that was your uncle Paul, and see you on the next video bye